Hi, Dylan here, failed musician and mediocre astrophotographer. Astronomy is pretty simple for the most part. A bit of glass, a bit of light, a lot of money. But one thing that confuses people is ASCOM. What is it? Why did we use it? And why can't I install it on my goddamn Mac? Happy birthday, ASCOM. You're 20 years old this year. Very quickly, when you start out in astronomy, you notice that a lot of the gear you use have drivers that are ASCOM compatible, or you need to install ASCOM for the drivers to work at all. I don't want to get too technical, so I'll try and explain this with a metaphor. Astrophotography is a bit like raising a child. If you do a good job, the child grows up to be a fine, upstanding member of society, a great image. If you f it up, the kid is a degenerate imbecile, or dead. But your alcoholic mother and your emotionally absent father don't talk to each other since the incident. So you have to live at your Portuguese grandmother's house and you all talk to each other via a series of lawyers and interpreters so nobody breaks the term of their various restraining orders. ASCOM is like those lawyers mediating between the different groups. Those groups are your hardware and software and they're all talking to each other for a common purpose. Astronomical functions. All of these astronomical functions have been mapped to libraries so that they can talk to each other and software developers can develop software language independent. Now everything else on your computer, like a webcam or a mouse or whatever, you just plug it in and install the drivers and sometimes you don't even need to do that. But astronomy is a little bit more complicated and we have a whole symphony of equipment trying to play the same song. ASCOM allows all these diverse hardware and software developers all to talk to each other with a common language. So back in 1998 when we were all playing Minesweeper and 3D Pinball, Bob Denny had the foresight to create a standard, the Astronomy Common Object Model. It's a bit like Apple's HomeKit. It's a standard where all these different devices in your house, the lights, the PowerPoint, can all talk to each other and can do something collectively. Eventually, Bob Denny and the team decided to open source ASCOM. And it's part of their mission statement. They, they want to encourage open source and they're doing a really good job. Because of the ASCOM standard, a whole range of software developers have themselves been able to develop software that we use a lot today. Things like Nebulosity, Sequence Generator Pro, Astro Tortilla, PhD, EQMod. They did stipulate that you do have to use the ASCOM logo whenever you write software that interfaces with ASCOM. So that's why we see it everywhere, even though many of us probably don't know what it does. For the most part, as the user, you don't need to know what it does or why it doesn't. The only contact we have with ASCOM really is when we do that connection to a device and we get the ASCOM Chooser dialog. A world without ASCOM is a world where you buy a particular manufacturer's telescope and then you'd have to buy their camera and their guiding and their particular control software and you'd be locked into that one ecosystem. Which sounds familiar. And yes, it doesn't work on Apple Macs. And that's not going to change anytime soon because the common object model is built at a lower level in the operating system. Apple has something similar called Core Framework, but it lacks all of the integration that it needs for ASCOM to be able to run on an Apple Mac. It's too fundamentally different. It's not going to happen anytime soon. Anyway, Bob Denny, the creator of ASCOM, and everyone else who's been working on it for the past 20 years, congratulations, I doff my hat to you. Our lives are much easier because of what you guys have pulled together. The best software is the kind of software that you don't notice, it just works. And for the most part, apart from the ASCOM Chooser dialogue, we don't notice it at all. And that's it. If you enjoy this episode of Star Stuff, that's good. Mm -hmm.